Dagger, not Jagger, not Jagger. Dag, are you really gonna drink that? Yeah, I don't see a problem with it, do you? The drink is fine, it's more the fact that the sun's about to go down and you're gonna drink a double shot. Are you a fucking lunatic? Serena, Serena, Serena. One day, when you're older, you'll understand. Fuck off, Dag, you're only like five years older than me. Fair enough. Still, it's not like a little espresso has ever killed anybody. Wrong. No. Yes. And besides, that's not a little espresso. That's five shots. You could wake up an entire family with that drink. Good point. But seriously, what does it matter anyway? We all have to die. Why not go out with a nice white mocha toffee nut combo, feel me? Just drop it, Dag. Oh, sorry. Serena, I, I forgot. I trailed off and Serena walked back to her station at the bar. I hadn't known her for too long, but she was such a sweet and innocent little thing. I hated hurting her feelings like that, even if I was right. Ding! Welcome to Starbucks! Shut it, Dag, we aren't Moe's. Hey, I'm bored. And besides, the customers like it. Don't you like it? I asked the kid who walked in. No, I don't get it. What do you mean you don't get it, man? This is Starbucks. You guys don't do that. Did it hurt your feelings? No. Then why do you care? Are you allowed to talk to customers like this, sir? No, he's not. Shut it, Dag, or I'll bring Rand out here. Oh no, you're gonna bring Rand. I'm so scared. Dag, I swear to God. What, Serena? What does God need to know so bad? Hey, guys. Can I order? Oh, yeah. Sorry about that, man. Go ahead. The kid looked at the menu, trying to figure out what he wanted. At least I'm pretty sure that's what he was doing. But he kept staring at my tattoos every other second like a middle schooler cheating on a math test, thinking he was slick and all when it was obvious what he was doing. I let him go on for about 10 seconds or so just so I could figure out which tattoo he was most captivated by. Ah, I see. You like the weed leaf tattoo. That one's a real people pleaser. Uh, what? No. Oh, then the Nicki Minaj one right next to it, maybe. It's got her massive cheeks and everything. How did you get a job here? I ask myself that every day, buddy. So do I, Serena yelled from the bar. Well, I ignored her. What do you want? I'll do a vanilla bean frappuccino. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Really? Yes. I laughed and punched the code into the register. All right, dude. Nice. That's going to be 458. Do I get a discount because you were such an ass? No. Yeah, but you should, Serena chimed in. Just make his little drink. She did. He asked for extra whipped cream, of course, and she obliged. That drink is the whitest thing I've ever seen, literally and figuratively. He walked out with a stick up his ass the same way he came in. The rain picked up outside. It almost sounded like our Starbucks was in the middle of an airsoft battleground, and both teams were launching their pellets straight at our windows. I gargled my double shot just to make sure I got as much flavor as I could. Nothing beats espresso during a storm. Dag, are you really going to drink that? Didn't we already go over this? I took another big swig and smiled with my coffee-stained teeth. Sure, but now I'm just wondering about the taste. <laughs> that looks like garbage. You're the worst. No, that would be you. You know, you act like you're better, but don't you always get pink drinks? <clears throat> What's wrong with a pink drink? Two words. Coconut milk. You know, it's actually pretty healthy for you. Just saying. Don't come after my sweet and savory white mocha toffee nut combo. It mutes the bitterness of the espresso and really conquers the whole palate. Meanwhile, you're out here with your lame-ass pink drink, posting it to Snapchat to flex that you work at Starbucks. I stuck my tongue out, and Serena started to tear up, and then I realized she was 17 and sensitive. Wait, Serena, my bad. I mean, everything I said was totally true, but don't cry or anything. <laughs> you're an ass, Dag. I know. CRASH! I thought Rand probably fell again. I can't believe he's in charge around here. What an idiot. What? You think you'd be better? No, I I'm sure I'd be worse. I just can't believe it's him. Well, that's fair. You'd be the best, to be honest, but you're off to bigger and better things than this shithole, right? Yeah, college. I'm excited. But hey, this isn't a shithole. Don't say that, Dag. Yeah, don't say that, Jagger. Rand! Serena and I both wheeled around, watching our supervisor totter into the room. Hey, come on now, Rand. You know I like to be called Dag. I hate my real name. Sure, kiddo. Dag short for Dagger, and Dagger not Jagger, because Dagger is sick and Jagger is a drag. 
Exactly. Are you guys starting to close? It's almost 7.30 now, right? Yeah, Serena said. I just drained the teas. Oh, Serena, I can always count on you, unlike Jagger. Dag! Serena giggled and went off to the bar to do her job. She really was a good employee. Rand, why can't you call me Dag? Just one time, please? I'll think about it, Jagger. <clears throat> Rand started back toward his office, and I started mumbling. I hope you knock over another box. What was that? I said you're a crafty old fox. <laughs> I gave him a thumbs up, and he sighed and walked off. Ding! Welcome to Starbucks. Cut it out, Dag. You don't sound very much like a 17-year-old, Serena. Oh, Serena? The new customer asked. She was a real Karen, and by that I mean she had a pixie cut and looked just about ready to stuff a dog in her purse and move to Beverly Hills. Yeah, said Serena. Oh, honey, I heard about your father. Hey, I cut in. Serena was already tearing up. Don't you think work is a pretty shit place to bring that kind of stuff up, lady? Oh, well, I was just... Look, just what do you want, okay? Huh? We're a Starbucks, not a shrink. Order already. How did you get a job here? I ask myself that every day. I heard Serena chuckle through her tears, and it made me feel better. Being an asshole is always fun, but when you do it in a righteous way, it's even better. So, what do you want? Vanilla bean frappuccino. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. No. Really? Yes! I laughed and punched it into the register again. Well, I guess that makes sense. It's going to be 458. You know, I will never be bringing my business to this Starbucks ever again. Serena was still sniffling as she started making the frappuccino. You know, I really don't give a shit. And even if I did care, nobody's going to cry over losing your weekly vanilla bean sales. It doesn't make a difference. Trust me. She started huffing and puffing around. I guess I was a real dick, but she made Serena cry, and I didn't like that. I honestly don't care about much. If I did, would I really be at a Starbucks? But nobody wants to see a 17-year-old cry, not even me. Karen left, and I leaned back against the oven and sipped on my drink. Dag, are you really going to drink that? If she wasn't so young, she might have been my type. Maybe in a month, when she turned 18. Her cheeks were rosy and timid, like a garden after the rain. Speaking of rain, it was completely pouring outside. I chugged the rest of my drink and got it all over my green apron. Does that answer your question? She laughed, and I liked that I could make her smile. So, I don't think you ever told me where you're going to school. Ah, I'm going to UF. Really? I went there too. No way. <laughs> she laughed. I can't imagine you going to college. You're such a bum. Thanks, you're sweet. I actually have a law degree from Florida, if you can believe that. I can't. I swear to God. So, why are you... In this shithole? It's not a shithole, but if you have a law degree, it's because life doesn't matter. Isn't that right, Jagger? Rand came back from his office with a laugh. That's the answer I gave him at my job interview when he said I was overqualified. I asked, does that mean you won't hire me? And he replied, no, but son, don't you want more out of life? Think about your future. I looked at him and said, life doesn't matter, in my opinion. And what's wrong with this is a future for me. Do you hate your life, Rand? He got pissed at that, and I laughed and flashed my palms. Just kidding, man. Just kidding. He sighed and then said something about, It wasn't my dream, but I have a family to look out for. Sure. Have a family. Like, that's going to make your life matter any more than it does already. Working as a supervisor at Starbucks when you're 40. Well, Rand, that's what I think at least. Well, Jagger, I disagree with you. Well, Rand, if you call me Dag just one time, I might change my mind. Nope. Damn it! Look, Serena... Rand said in his dad tone. There are different lifestyles for different kinds of people. Jagger here is the type who wanted to be a bum, and who am I to get in the way of his dreams? He started laughing, and I had to admit it was kind of funny, so I laughed too. For me, my family is everything. I'll admit I didn't think I'd end up managing a Starbucks, but I did always want a loving family, and I have that now. Picture a perfect family, not to brag. Rand was beaming. He always got that way talking about his loving family. And I would always wonder how any family could really love Rand as much as he seemed to think they did. You're a smart girl, though, and you're going to go and do amazing things, Serena. I just know it. Besides, Jagger's probably the only person to graduate from Florida and end up as a cashier. Shut up, Rand. And it's Dag. Come on. Serena laughed and walked over to the bar. 
You're still on the clock, Jagger. Dag, it's Dag, D-A-G. Got that? Sure, I'll think about it. But in the meantime, why don't you start counting your drawer? What if we get another customer? It's 7.50 and pouring out. I think we'll be fine. All right, dude. I counted my drawer and effectively closed up for the day. Serena was over at the bar making a pink drink. Serena, are you really gonna drink that? No, I'm not, actually. What do you mean? It's... Well, it's for my dad. Oh. Yeah. That's why I got upset earlier. I'm... I'm sorry. We can drop it if you want. No. No, it's fine. You're an ass and all, Dag, but I don't mind talking to you. Oh. Well, uh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. It's just... Well... Dag, I don't know how much time he has left. She started bawling, tears streaming down her face with more force than the torrential rain outside. I moved over to the bar and wrapped my arms around her back in an older brotherly sort of way. She was a minor and all, and this was serious too. I'm so sorry, Serena. Let it out if you need to. And then she did. We stood there in front of the espresso machines and flavor pumps linked in a melancholic embrace. She cried with her head on my shoulder, and I stood there silently. You don't have to say anything at a time like that. In fact, silence is often better than words. Ding! Welcome to Starbucks! Tag, you're a loser, Serena said, forcing composure upon herself. In an instant, she looked the same as she always did. Joyful, carefree, and beautiful. Oh, uh, sorry, ma'am. It's actually past our closing time. I already counted my register, too, so I can't get you anything. She was soaking wet, so you'd think she'd have been cold. Instead, though, she seemed to radiate an undying heat. That's fine. I'm just looking for Rand. Rand like my supervisor Rand? Yeah, I know he's here. I was getting entirely bad vibes from this lady. Not like I particularly liked Rand or anything, but I didn't feel like he deserved to deal with the wrath of this soaking wet woman right before closing. He's actually not, sorry. Bullshit! Nah. Rand, bring your scummy ass out here right now! Crash! Look what you done now, ma'am. What? You just made poor Rand fall over in the back. I thought you said he wasn't here. Well, I never said I was telling the truth. Serena started giggling, and the woman shot her a glare. Serena stopped and buried herself in cleaning the espresso machines. Finally, Rand stepped out onto the floor. Oh, shit, he said. What? I asked. I got ignored, though, since the issue at hand had nothing to do with me. Rand, you sleazy fuck, what are these? The woman held up a neon pink pair of panties. I don't know, since I've never bought panties before, but I doubt I would go with neon as my first choice. Rand's eyes went wide. Wait, a Ava, I can explain! Shut the fuck up, do you think I came to hear you lie about this? God, I'm fucking tired of it, Rand. I packed your shit up, it's all in the garage. Don't come in when you get home. Just take the boxes and get the hell out for good. No, uh, no, 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 Ava. I swear it's not... It's not what it looks like. Rand, please. The garage will be open. All the other doors are locked. Don't even try coming in. Got it? I don't want to see your fat ass again unless it's with lawyers. And you better believe I'm getting custody of the kids. They all hate your guts anyway, you bum. With that, she threw the neon panties at Rand and stomped off into the storm. It was so dark outside with the twilight and the downpour that she disappeared just a couple steps after she left. The panties landed on Rand's face, and he started wetting them with tears. Ah, yes, the loving family. We just stood there for a while, because Serena and I didn't have anything to say. Part of me wanted to laugh, but I also felt a little bad. Mostly, though, I wanted to go home, because it was after 8, and we were closed now. Hey, Rand, do you mind if the two of us clock out? Serena asked. Oh. Yeah. Sure. Serena clocked out. The rain died down to a drizzle. I patted her shoulder and gave her a smile before she left. I clocked out. The rain settled, leaving the smell of wet pavement outside. I went to leave. Bye, Rand. I walked past him. He was still standing at the register with the panties on his head. They were soaked from his tears, but he'd stopped crying. 
Instead, he just stood there, staring blankly. Bye, Dag.